What is up guys, it's me Vlad and today I'm going to show you how to get mods on Quest and Quest only so you won't have to have a PC to play on or a phone, I don't know, uh, you'll just be playing on Quest natively. And uh, before I start the video, I just want to give you a disclaimer that this video is for educational purposes and entertainment purposes only. I don't uh, condone any use of mods on Quest or without out a quest and I don't spread any of these mods I'm not spreading I'm just uh, making a video you know and, and uh, yeah pretty much uh, I'm not spreading any of these mods so uh, the responsibility for whoever uses these mods uses this method is not on me completely so if you use this you know the respons responsibility is on you and not me so don't blame me for anything uh just uh, wanted to give that disclaimer because i don't want to get in any legal trouble obviously if uh, for example someone wants uh this video to get taken down you, you could just uh, ask me uh, there's an email down below you know um and uh, i'll take it down without any problems by the way guys i just want to mention that uh, for this tutorial you can grab like your mom's laptop your dad's laptop i don't know your brother's pc something like that you don't exactly need a, a laptop that uh, you will play on uh, this is a tutorial like i said uh, a standalone quest tutorial so just uh, get someone's laptop i don't know your friend's laptop doesn't matter you'll be able to uninstall everything we install or even if you don't uninstall install it it won't matter on the computer because you will be running everything from the quest from the quest you know so it will be uh, way easier if you get uh, a computer and start out of doing this on the phone but uh, technically it's possible to do this on a phone or something like that uh, but uh, you will just have a lot of uh, different uh, steps that you'll have to take so yeah at the point so the point of the video is how to get mods on quest and uh, i have made a couple of videos previously showing you that you can play uh, with mods on quest and pe many people were actually curious uh, how to do that and uh, uh, i decided to make a tutorial on this uh, and uh, basically yeah show you guys uh, what you need to do so basically what you have to do at the beginning so i'm going to click on my one of my videos and uh, pretty much in this video description or not uh, this one that i clicked on but this one that you're watching there will be a discord link in the description this is my uh, discord and by the way the reserved link uh, doesn't work because uh, we don't have enough boosts anymore uh, so just click on this one if you have troubles getting into discord or something like that let me know in the comments I answer to all of the comments i try to help out everyone and uh yeah i uh, appreciate uh, when you guys comment because you take your time and uh, I take my time to respond to you guys and like every comment. So you just click on the link down below here. It will take you to the Discord app if you have it. Uh, for example, this is uh, my Discord app right here. Uh, this, uh, you can join it on the phone too. So doesn't matter by the way we got 5500 members already in discord kind of not 5500 since uh, uh, there are more bots you know uh, than people or not more than whatever you know we have 14 bots and it's uh, not uh, 5500 members yet but you know uh, you could find some people to play with here to chat you know we got uh, people from different communities all over the place multiverses fall guys and girl attack so what you will want to do is uh, you will want to scroll down to quest mods right here this section right here and i'm going to go you uh, go through each step that you have to take so you guys uh, know everything you have to do and uh, pretty much yeah because most YouTubers don't do that, and uh, uh, I kind of, kind of feel that that's kind of scummy because you don't really allow people to follow your steps. Uh, so yeah, so pretty much uh, right here you can read what I wrote here. But uh, first thing you'll want to do is you want to go up to on my Twitch account 
and even if you don't have a Twitch account, it's uh, fine. And, oh, we got 900 followers. That's pretty cool. Uh, by the way, on 1,000 followers, I'm going to stream on Twitch, so stay tuned for that. You know, uh, I'm going to start uh, streaming maybe daily. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But what you'll want to do, as you can see right here, I set it. You'll want to log in into your Twitch account or create one. Uh, okay, so if you have a Twitch account, log in. If you don't have a Twitch account, you can create one. Or if you cannot create a Twitch account, I'll show you later on what you can do. Uh, but next, uh, what uh, you have to do is uh, you have to uh, click on the chat section on Twitch. Many people get confused by this, but you have to click on this chat section right here. And by the way, if you don't have chat right here, you'll want to actually open it up, expand, click on expand. And uh, yeah. So next, uh, what you'll want to do is you want to follow my Twitch channel because uh, you won't be able to type in the chat without a um, basically Twitch account and follow me. Oh, someone followed me right here. As you can see, someone actually followed me and he disp he's displayed here. That's pretty cool, you know. So when you follow, uh, I get an alert so you can be actually in the video, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to type in quest exclamation mark quest mod just exclamation mark quest mods like this and uh, there will be a link right here i'm going to cut it out you know blur it so you guys don't have the link yourselves you know because um, to be honest i want to get more followers on twitch honestly uh, and uh, I just don't want to post a link in my discord myself and uh, yeah uh, but if you don't have a twitch account as a bonus I wrote down here you could follow my Instagram and send me a DM asking for a discord and invite link after that uh, pretty much just follow the steps in this video uh, so yep uh, here's my discord cool dude Vlad you, you could search it up on the app or just click over here and uh, you'll get sent to my uh, Instagram profile if you're curious this is my Instagram profile right here you know I'm pretty you know, you know I'm pretty pretty man okay that was pretty cringe whatever that's not the point I was making you know so this is a method to those people who cannot access twitch for some reason um yeah I'm a gaming warlord and I was awakened uh, but uh, that's not the point so after you do that you will get this link right here over here this is a different link this is for a mod menu uh, but we just click on this link and we get sent to this discord right here so by the way you won't have to stay in this discord you'll be able to just leave uh, honestly this discord isn't that good I'm just telling you my discord is better uh, not to discredit, you know, anything or something like that. By the way, I just wrote down um, that uh, I'm not associated with this server in any way. Uh, the spread of mods uh, goes to fully to their server owner. So uh, you won't get in any legal trouble, obviously. So also this guy is uh, selling a mod menu. Nah, don't buy it. Uh, just saying, you know, um, that's uh, illegal. Pretty much, uh, but uh, that's not the point we're making. You know, I'm not promoting his server or anything. Uh, so what you'll want to do is scroll down here. So you're going to want to go to side quest section right here, and uh, just click on uh, side quest link over here. Uh huh. So next, uh, what you'll want to do, you'll want to get the advanced installer. Just click on this over here this link it'll install the side quest app i'm going to cancel it uh, but in your downloads folder you'll find uh, this uh, file right here or just over here press on this file click install install and uh, you'll be able to install the side quest you can create an account or log in later on but uh, um, you don't really have to I'm pretty sure you can do this uh, without actually having to create an account uh, but uh, it's whatever just install side quest it's pretty easy if you have any questions ask me in my discord or in the comment section I'll respond to all of you guys okay 
So next, next, next. What you'll want to do, you'll want to go to Quest Patcher right here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually, yeah, let's install Quest Patcher. Just click on this Quest Patcher GitHub link right here. And uh, for Mac users, you install mac.dmg uh, for Ubuntu, which is Linux users, you install Ubuntu. For Windows uh, standalone, you install Windows standalone. I don't know what's that. Uh, but uh, for us p p users or players who play on PC, we just click on Windows.exe. So install this. Wait a second. Okay. And uh, it'll be in our downloads folder, but uh, we have to install a few more things before that. So what we have to install next is uh, uh, code gen. Go to code gen right here, and uh, you'll want to install Gorilla Utils right here. Install it. Okay. Next, what you'll want to do is inst install code gen right here. Install code gen. It can take a few seconds. We don't need this. Um, next, what we want to install is go to Quest Mods right here. And uh, there is a bunch of Quest Mods. Um, but uh, we we'll want to go to the... Actually, wait a second. I'm going to have to find it. Yeah, over here. So, if you scroll a bit up from the bottom, you'll see... Gorilla Tag 114. Uh, this is a, a downgraded version of Gorilla Tag. So we we'll have to install this too. Just click on Mediafire. Uh, click Download. And uh, pretty much it's installing it right here. It could take a bit. So just wait. By the way, to prove that this is not a virus or anything like that. I'm just going to, and I would recommend with whichever mods you install, mod menus, whatever. I would recommend going to, uh, what is it called, virus total, and scanning each file you install. So, for example, Quest Patcher, we can see that this is an, a virus. We can uh, check uh, code gen two, you know, Gorilla Utils. So you can see none of these are a virus. We can then check this right here. Be basically, what the virus total does, it uh, just shows you if uh, from like, as you could see, 59 antivirus software, it checks it manually through each one and it shows you if like any antivirus has detected that there is a, a uh, like a uh, virus or something like that basically so i recommend going through them uh and uh yeah uh but next uh, what we will want to actually download to will be let me actually see uh there's quite a few things you have to download um i'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a uh, gorilla tag computer yeah monkey computer activator we have to download this so we can check if it's a virus, no viruses. Yeah, mon monkey activator right here. Oh my god, someone followed me on Twitch. You could see, you could follow me on Twitch, you know, appear on the screen whenever I record a video. Okay, next, what you want to do is download, there should be monkey computer and monkey computer. I'm blind, I'm blind, you know, I'm blind. Monkey computer activator right here. As you can see, it has thumbs up. So you could see which mods are good to download by thumbs up and stuff like that. So just download monkey computer. Okay guys, so after you installed all of these files right here, what you'll want to do next is you want to get your quest right here. You'll want to put it on your head and you'll want to go ahead and delete or uninstall Gorilla Tag. If you don't know how to do that, you just uh, go to the menu section with uh, your games and you'll see Gorilla Tag right there. And what you'll want to do, you'll want to click on the three dots when you hover over it and you want to click on uninstall and then click uninstall again and uh, you'll be able to uninstall gorilla tag that way by the way you'll keep all of your cosmetics so if you're concerned for your 
cosmetics, your precious cosmetics, uh, you'll still have them because they're locked to your account and uh, you cannot get rid of them that simply. Uh, but, but, after you do this, it can take a few minutes to uninstall the game, for, at least for me. But after you did that, you're free to continue with the next step. And the next step is to actually... Where's my cable? Oh my god. Yep, I lost the cable, but I found it. So here, you'll need a cable that has a USB-C connector. And, uh... Oh my god. Focus, focus up. Focus, don't focus on me. Focus on the thingy. Whatever. But you'll need a charger cable or a USB-C to USB-A cable. Doesn't matter. So... Uh, just find one whatever works for you. For example, my keyboard I had a USB-C to USB-A cable, so that works. You don't need a so like link cable. You, a standard uh, charger cable works, you know. So you could just uh, get that if you have a USB-C port on your computer. So what you'll do next is you'll want to actually plug in the USB cable into your computer by the way just wanted to mention it guys you don't need a computer necessarily you can do this on a laptop you can just borrow someone's laptop because you won't have to actually use the laptop later on you can just borrow someone's laptop borrow someone's computer for example your mom's laptop your mom's computer I don't know your dad's laptop someone's you know brothers sisters uh, and just do this, and after that, you can forget about the laptop, just give it back, uninstall the programs or whatever, you don't really need to uninstall them. Uh, but, pretty much, you don't need really your own computer for this, because you will play on the Quest. The Quest power will basically, you'll be using the Quest power to play with mods, you know, you won't be using your computer, since you'll be basically installing quest version of mods. So next, what you'll want to do, you'll want to plug in your quest and uh, turn it on. My quest is really low, so that's kind of a problem, but you want to plug in the USB-C into your charger slot. So just uh, plug it in right over there, like I did, and uh, you'll be fine. So plug it in. And uh, after you plug it in, by the way, I just wanted to mention that uh, it will display a prompt, so you'll have to turn it on first, and then you'll have to put it on your head, and it will display a prompt uh, saying something like, uh, do you want to allow this computer your file access, or something like that, in those lines. And you'll just have to click or on either always allow or just allow. I would recommend to click on always allow because that works uh, most of the time for me and uh, it was just uh, way easier to manage because once you reconnect the cable and uh, for example, if you mess something up, you'll have to click on allow again if you just click on allow and not always allow, so yeah. Um, that was kind of tough to understand, but whatever. So next, what you'll want to do, you'll want to search up side quest on your computer, or just find the side quest app that you installed. If you haven't installed it previously, just go to your downloads folder. Let me actually find it over here. Uh, yep. As you can see, side quest, just uh, double click on this, install it. I already have side quest, so I'm not going to install it again, but just double click on the program, go through the installation process and yeah. Uh, next, what you'll want to do, you'll want to find SideQuest, open it up. Okay, so I'm opening SideQuest right here. As you can see, what when it says and shows a green dot right here, this means that you did everything right and you plugged in your headset. And by the way, thank you to SideQuest. Um, you know, uh, people who make SideQuest because they removed the IP address over here. Um, and uh, yeah, I think a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers, when they used SideQuest, they leaked their IP and that's not really good. Uh, but next, what you want to do is actually you'll want to go and uh, click on install APK from folder on computer. 
you'll want to do that as you can see i have hopefully i didn't leak anything but i have a bunch of videos these are my tiktoks and stuff like that but it doesn't matter so you'll want to go to your downloads folder or whenever wherever uh the browser defaultly installs the files or whatever you pick you know the browser to install the files so for example for me it's download so i just click on downloads and here i have to find the gorilla tag 114 that we actually downloaded if you didn't download it it's over here somewhere yeah it's this file right here monkey map loader no it's not monkey map loader uh, be careful not to install the monkey map loader install gorilla tag 114 just install this and uh, find it over here in your downloads folder just uh basically click on it click open and it should say installing apk right here if you have any issues troubles or something like that let me know in the comments or let me know in my discord because i am out everyone with uh, any problems they have uh, in my discord for example and uh, we just have a great community here okay so next next what we we'll want to do is we want to see if the task is running as you can see running zero tasks it install the apk okay and uh, by the way if you didn't uh, if you probably got an error right here it's because you didn't uninstall the game on your quest you have to uninstall the game first install gorilla tag and you won't get any errors okay Next, next, next thing you will want to do is uh, close the side quest app and go to your uh, download folder again. So over here, you'll see quest patch windows. We'll want to double click on this. Uh, I'll click on install only for me and click accept agreement. Uh, click next, click install. Uh -huh. Yep, and installs it. I'm going to blur out the direction it installs. Uh -huh. So we just, by the way, this is applicable for Quest 1. So if you're playing on a first quest, you can do this. And if you're playing on a second quest, you can do this too. Okay, so we click finish and we wait a bit. It can take longer for you guys to download it. Uh, yep, for me, it's pretty fast, I would say okay and yeah so next what you want to do you'll want to click patch my app and this can take a bit this could take a while for some people my pc is pretty fast so you know uh, you know it will take faster than your pc probably maybe not some people have better pc than me obviously um but yeah if you're curious what pc i have i have a uh, 2070 RTX uh, with i7-800 or 8-700, you know, 8700. Uh, oh my god, I cannot think uh, of a word, whatever, you know, um, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, next uh, we have this, uh, basically s this menu, this piece of text saying patching is complete. And we just click OK, and uh, yeah, oh, pretty much uh, the main part of our tutorial is done. Then what we want to do next is uh, insert, um, I'm pretty sure, mo monkey computer activator right here. Just uh, outdated mod, click enable now, uh -huh. yeah, click OK, then you want to install uh, monkey computer mod by the way i'm doing this by just uh, dragging left clicking you know left holding the click and uh dropping it over here and we just click enable now doesn't matter uh, they will enable once we install everything okay just click okay doesn't matter then we install code gen code gen i remember when i first installed this i was kind of weird it out weird it out that it didn't work but it's whatever click enable now then we'll want to install gorilla utils just click enable now and uh, we pretty much have everything downloaded so we need to enable monkey uh, computer 
continue anyway we will have to enable this outdated mod doesn't matter so after we do this we have uh, monkey computer activator monkey computer monkey code gen and the uh, gorilla utils so you'll need this if you don't have this this won't work okay next uh, we'll want to download the mods we actually want you know uh, the mods uh, we actually want to use so the main mods that i used uh where let's uh, go to the server and actually let's see so the main mods that i was using were in my video that i was showing you guys previously i'm pretty sure it was uh the platforms mod by the way you could see which mods are good which mods are bad uh by the likes dislikes whatever for example this one is uh, normal magic monkey seems uh, normal and uh, by the way my discord you can communicate uh, which uh, mods are good which mods are bad and then in the comments you can recommend much mods you found uh, that are actually decent or good okay so over here i would recommend gravity monkey i think this one is fine platform monkey um oh wait a second iron monkey tag on i don't think it works uh-huh uh, wait a second monkey trail i mean you could download this seems fine let's let's check if it's has any viruses no viruses let's upload to upload uh the file what you'll want to do you'll want to open up your downloads folder uh, right here and you'll want to drag and drop it over here for example enable now doesn't matter we got a trail now done uh, public long arms I guess uh, this one is decent uh-huh uh, okay just uh, let's chat let's yeah let's see it's decent then we post it here enable now okay uh where is it platform monkey yeah this one seems good although many people dislike this one so i'm not going to post this or not going to download this i'm actually not sure which platform monkey is the right platform monkey that i was using uh huh but i would actually just recommend uh getting this one platform monkey for example let's get it why not let's check if it's good yep no viruses or anything let's upload it enable now yeah as you can see platform monkey rising lava seems good iron monkey whatever and uh, you could do this with uh, every mod whatever whichever mod you wish to do this and guys if i actually helped you let me know in the comments so other people know that this is actually working and this is not a scam or anything like that i really appreciate your comment and i will like every comment that people post and respond to each comment and pretty much after this you can just what wait a minute you can just unplug the quest right here and uh, i'll show you the gameplay with mods next from my previous video obviously if you haven't seen it uh, you'll be pretty interested in mods that i'm going to show you guys uh, but you'll just see the mods that i'm using and uh yeah let me know in the comments guys to have the sword for you if it didn't let me know in the comments and uh, by the way i would just recommend after this leaving the discord server because to be honest the discord server um, is pretty shady you know uh, i don't have anything against the server owner or maybe i kind of do since he posts uh, quest mods and they're kind of illegal um which i'm not fully sure of but uh, it's whatever so after this guys you could uh, actually 
uh, whenever there's a video over here, you could uh, just react to it with a like if this worked, dislike if it didn't work, you know, and uh, you could subscribe to my channel because I post a lot of cool real tag content and I'm going to post uh, news, leaks, stuff like that about Fall Guys and how to get mods, uh, the different mods, mod menus, stuff like that. So if you're interested or into that, subscribe you won't regret it if you watch the video until the end comment down below i got my quest mods and everything worked this will be the end of the video phrase and i'll respond to you with a secret message secret comment you know uh, this is our daily end of the video phrase oh and by the way guys don't click off the video now you, you'll be able to see gameplay of uh, me playing with quest mods uh, on quest, you know, without a PC or anything else, you know, so you'll be able to see how the mods work, how to actually uh, use the menu, and uh, pretty much, yeah, download now. Uh, and uh, we just have to click on girl tag, open, and click uh, cancel for the update, or actually update later, probably, or cancel, no, update later, I guess. Click on that, we don't want to update the game, uh, click. Allow permissions to access photos, media, on your device because uh, it's probably getting the mods and stuff from there. And yeah, guys, yeah, sorry that there is no webcam allowed to record audio. I don't know why it needs that. Oh, it's uh, pretty much you get the screen when you first join Girl Attack. You can click uh, allow or deny. And I'll click allow. But yeah, after you had joined. Oh, I cannot turn with my stick. Oh my god. This is kinda... This is kinda cool, but like... We're in the old gorilla tag... Setting here. Yeah, I cannot uh, turn with my stick for some reason. Hopefully I won't hit anything, but... On the grip buttons, we have platforms, which actually work. As you could see. Okay. And, uh, yeah. As you can see, everything works. Um, I'm not sure how we... Oh, yeah. Just press on this. And there's the banana OS. And click enter. And you could see... Yeah, guys, have a good day. And if you want to fix it, just restore the app and bye-bye. Uh, um, this was a cool experience to have. And I appreciate all of you guys who subscribed and join my Discord. We have like two sub 200 subscribers and almost 1,000 uh, supporters in my mem or members in my Discord. I'm really thankful for you, all of you guys. And bye-bye. Stay happy. Stay positive.